All right. I'm um, sorry it's been a while. Just been busy with homework. Um, but today we're going to do the ear real quick. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we are going to go, um, what I'm going to do is basically just go to the front viewport. I don't know. Sorry. The viewport right. Zoom in. So we've got our head here and our ear. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, let's see, we're going to go to edge mode, and uh, this is the, the section for the ear. Now the ear always goes from, um, the ear always goes from the uh, bottom of the nose, so pretty much follow this here, and then it goes all the way up to the, the top of the eyebrows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just extrude this outward for now. And I'm going to actually just detach this so it's easier working with this one here um, by itself. So we just go to detach and we're going to detach it as an object. We're going to call it ear real quick. Say OK. All right. Go into this and let's see here. Viewport left. Zoom. Oops, sorry. Viewport right. And then, uh, so we zoom out here. Now, the ear is is really complex, and most people have a lot of issues with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply take this and remove this up here, here and then I'm going to move this down just a bit, and I'm going to push it in a little bit here. We're going to go back to our edge mode. And I'm going to just pull this edge out here, like so. And so if you look at it, take this, move this in the corner, take this, um, move this up a little bit. And then I'm just going to move this up, and I'm going to move this up. So that's the basic shape of everybody's ear. Okay, so what we're going to do is... I'm going to just shape out the ear real quick here. Um, so we're going to select all these polygons here. And the first thing that you're going to do with an ear, and actually, you know what, to be honest with you, I'm going to change up. I'm going to grab these polygons right here. Um, I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to inset this, just the hair. So we're going to inset it in. And that's going to give this <coughs> this the inner loop for the ear. Okay. Um, and then what I'm going to do is before we do anything else, you always want to shape what you're doing here. So let's take a look at this. Okay. So this is the inner uh, outer side of the ear, and then this is going to come down and flow like so. So there is your your ear loop. Now this is your ear lobe right here, and so you can always kind of maneuver this kind of where you need it where you want it type of thing then what you're going to do is you've got um, an inner loop so you have to something that basically comes um, down like so so what we're going to do is we're going to go here and I'm going to just extrude just a hair and see now working on the side here all right, just make sure we got it in there. So that's our inner loop, okay? Now, what you're going to do is you are, actually, let's, before we extrude this in, um, let's start cut, cutting the, the different faces in there. So we're just going to go to vertex mode here. So you have the inner loop. Then what you're going to do is you're going to have the outer loop. So the outer loop, let's move this up a little bit more. And let's cut like so. And I'm just going to cut this down to something like this right here. Now this is, I'm going to move this here. So this is our first loop. And then let's cut again. And this is the inner loop here. And then this comes down like so. OK, 
okay like so so this is that inner loop this is the outer loop this is that cavity of the ear um, people usually put the piercings up there and then this is this comes down like so let's just maybe I double click here sometimes you just gotta play with it a little bit and then so this is the uh, this comes down inward and then we've got to have this as our hole so what we're going to do is we're going to just push this up like so okay so <clears throat> it's not quads yet so we're not I'm not too worried about that right now um, what we need to do is the first thing that we need to do is take and let's um, start selecting some faces here so we're going to select these faces right here and then we are going to basically inset this and or actually extrude this sorry uh, it's actually I like will extrude bevel so we want to go in and we are going in a little bit okay so that's our first section and then let's go in and grab this section here and we're gonna have Linux extrude that and then we've got this section here we're gonna bevel and extrude that and then let's see here we've got this section here and we're gonna bevel and extrude that now it doesn't look like much now but when you round it out it's going to basically let's round it out without the uh, cage on here So when you round it out, it's going to look a lot better. Um, all right. So now the big thing is let's go and use by numeric symmetry. As long as we've got our polygon selected, let's go by numeric here. And let's try and find greater than four. So right now, here's greater than four. Um, this right now, uh, let's see here. First thing I'm going to do is this is kind of a, a cavity here. So this and this, let's just, I'm going to just extrude inward and bevel a little bit. And that's going to give you that kind of inner looping ridge right there. Um, then same thing with this right here. We want this to kind of go inward. And let's, this is, we're going to bevel, bevel outward. This one, we're going to bevel inward. Okay. Now I'm going to grab just this edge here, move this edge up. Grab this one. I'm gonna just move this edge down. <laughs> and let's see here. Right, something like so. Um I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut this like so. And then go to this. And we're just going to target weld this to this, this one to this one, and that will give you uh, a better looking shape. See, as you can see, our ear is starting to pop in there. Um, you know, so we can kind of play around, putz around with this as much as we want. But for what we're doing now, this is fine. I don't need anything, anything spectacular. I do want to make sure that it's all... Um, under five polygons so I'm gonna just 
do the greater one then first. It looks like these right here are going to be a simple fix. Um, something pretty much just a matter of going in the vertex and that one's got two vertexes. I'm going to collapse that one. Oops. Looks like I selected extra here. That one's got one vertex. That one's got four vertexes in there. So let's collapse that one. And looks like let's just collapse this here. Um, let's double check in our, our numerics here. See, that one's fixed. Um, this one here, let's cut into like so. And then let's cut this one into. Uh, let's figure this one out here. Um, so I've got this one here and this one here. Um, let's cut this here, here. And like so. And let's go numeric greater than. So that fixes that. And then this one, I'm going to let's double check the side here. What we got? Let's cut. Oops, not attach. Let's cut. I've got these two here, so let's cut this one down to here for now. And let's cut this one up here for now. And I just want to make sure that. And then let's go less than four. Alright, so this is where we've got our our uh, issues going on here. So what we can do is let's fix these issues. Um, looks actually to be like a simple fix. Let's go to edge mode here. And let's backspace that one. Let's go to edge mode here. Let's backspace that one. Um, and so you can see when you start doing that, you know, your edges, everything starts coming up pretty nicely. So let's go numeric again. Okay, so those are gone. Um, I'm not liking this right now. Uh, something's weird here, so let's take a look at this before we go any further. Um, sometimes it's just a matter of... Alright, so let's take a look here. And this... So let's look at let's collapse that right there and that creates a four-sided right there so let's just go into edge mode backspace that edge a little bit go back and let's go numeric. Now the only reason I'm doing this is because I want to make sure that if I put it in mud box everything will kind of work together. Um, there's that. That looks okay. Um, the only ones I have it looks like are these two here or these three. Um, so let's, um, uh, this one, this one's a simple fix because we just are going to cut these two together. I know it's extra geometry and it's kind of a weird location, but, um, if you take a look at it now, the numerics have disappeared, um, and we can shape this out a little bit better. Um, and then this one here being the only one, um, Let's do something like this here, and that's going to give us a triangle. That there, 
and then let's take this one and collapse it together. So now we've got this kind of arc going on. And that should... Oh, no, didn't take care of that one. Um, let's figure this out here. Uh, might just have to be stuck with a triangle. Let's see here. Oh, maybe not. No, yeah, we're going to be stuck with a triangle. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be stuck with one triangle at least, um, which is okay, especially in something this small. I'm not putting a whole lot of geometry in here. Um, the next thing I want to do is something I thought is that uh, I'm going to go into vertex mode and you can actually chain for this and this will actually give you um, a little bit more geometry to play with the shape here um, so we can actually move this downward it's going to screw up the um, it's going to screw up the uh, the five sides again, but what I'll do is I'll just cut this like so, and I'll cut this one like so, and then we can just kind of round these out accordingly. Um, and then basically this is this is your ear. Um, then what you're going to do is we're going to grab the edges and I'm gonna just grab here and I'm gonna loop it all the way around unfortunately it doesn't like this so I'm gonna grab these two here and I'm going to make sure that these are deselected so there's your R ear right there I'm gonna hold shift down move it up and then I'm gonna scale it just a hair a bit bigger move it again and there's a ridge and then I'm gonna move this inward and scale oops I don't want to do that I'm gonna scale this down so there's pretty much our ear right there now the thing with this is the ear kind of loops in to your geometry here so that's going to be a kind of a whole let's put how to figure out the ear here um, the other thing is let's rotate this out a little bit and then let's move this out just a hair oh I've got snaps on that's why it's not liking me so let's move this out a hair so that's going to pop the ears out. Um, I should have done this. Let's go affect the pivot point, center to object, and let's move the center just a hair. Now if I rotate it out, we can rotate it out accordingly. And the nice thing about this is we can scale it up, scale it down, um, you know, and you want to play with it. You know, you want to add in more with the ear. So I think that's about 20 minutes. So we'll just go straight from there on the next video. All right, thanks much.